Hi, this will be a video for how to do the uh, tree data collection in Dallas. And so this is where you're helping us uh, figure out where there's tree canopy. And with enough sample points, we can make pretty good estimates of the percent tree canopy cover within Dallas County. And then even some of the sub regions uh, like ward level regions to say which ones have more tree canopy and how is tree canopy changing, relatively speaking, between 2008, 2016, and 2020, for starters. Um, so we're going to nominally try to collect over 2,000 points. Um, that may be ambitious, but hopefully we can get 1,000 points assessed by two different data collectors to make sure we have consistent data and over those three years. So we'll just see where we get and um, go from there. So this video shows you what we're doing. <clears throat> so first thing you do is go to the, the student assistance folder, which if you don't have a link to that, um, let me know. And then the Dallas trees folder within that, and you can open up the Dallas trees instruction. And so basically there's two sections, the first of which you just have to do one time. And so I'm not gonna do all of this right now um, but basically, you're going to download Google Earth Pro to your computer. Um, it is not sufficient to use the web version. The Some of the functionality, like looking at historical imagery, is much easier to do in the, the downloaded version. So get that on your computer. Um, and then we're going to make a few changes that I'll show you. So I've, I've downloaded and I've opened up Google Earth. And so this will look a little different if you're on a Mac, but you can, I think you can figure out how to make these changes. So, and you should only have to make them once. So I go to tools, options, navigation, and I make two changes here. One, I change this fly to speed to pretty fast. So over here somewhere. Uh, so we don't have to take time kind of flying in and out to each point. Um, and then I also change uh, this navigation setting to do not automatically tilt while zooming because we always want to just be looking straight down. We don't want any tilted views on anything. So that's it there. And then finally over here, you want to make sure that none of these boxes are checked because all we want to see is the imagery, nothing else. So that's it. And then you're ready to add the actual data. So we're down here on the add tree data. And so you will download this KMZ file to somewhere on your own hard drive. And then you will simply drag that into Google Earth. And here are our 2,116 trees, all with labels on them. I'm going to expand out the list of trees. And they all have labels that you can see in here as well. So let's just double click on one of these labels. Actually, let me try double clicking just on the symbol. Okay, double clicking on the symbol itself is better because it doesn't pop up that dialog box. So I'm going to go back to one. So you can see I'm at number one here. And I'm going to zoom in a lot further because I really need to see what's going on specifically. And even, even now it's still hard, but we'll come back to that. So before you do anything, you need to open up the Dallas Trees Data Collection Spreadsheet. And this is going to have all of those tree IDs that correspond to the labels in Google Earth. We're going to have two data collectors for every point because we need to know that we're getting consistent information and that there's agreement among raters or among collectors. And we're going to do three years, 2008, 16, and 20. 2008 and 16, because we have other data uh, that this can correspond with. And 2020, um, because that's, you know, most recent, pretty much. Your options for what you're seeing in each... I'm going to add one in here, sorry. At each point is going to be can't be assessed like for some technical reason like there's no imagery or something else goes wrong um impervious surface 
unmaintained pervious ground. So that could be like soil or an unmaintained natural field. Uh, maintained pervious ground or low stuff. So like, uh, you know, turf grass or shrubs probably is irrigated in Dallas. And then number three is tree canopy. So let's have a look. So let's, let's do um, number one for these three years. So I'll go back to my map and I'm gonna click on this little historical imagery button. So this is what allows us to look at different years of imagery. So I'll start in modern times here and we'll look at, eh, you know, it's a little blurry, but I think it's fine. Um, we'll look at May 2020. Now May is a good month because there's leaves on the trees. You want to avoid looking at, oh, that one's, that one's, well, that was good too, but it's 2019. Uh, November would not be great because uh, the trees start to lose their leaves and neither are you know December, January, or February. Probably March too. So try to stick between like April and October basically. So, um, all right, let's click forward again. 11, here we go. So May 2020, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, yep. Yeah, that is, it's close to a building, but it is on tree canopy. So, you know, don't overthink this. It better to just move fast and sometimes be, be wrong. Okay. Cause you can't always tell. So this one we're going to say is on tree canopy in 2020. Maybe I wanted to start with 2008. I don't know. You'll figure out a routine. Go back to 2008. There we go. So you can see here that those trees did not exist in 2008. So maybe those are pretty low trees. I'm gonna take a guess that this is, it looks to me like it's on lawn at that point because it kind of looks like this and it's still not on that building and the building probably hasn't moved. So for 2008, I'm gonna put maintained pervious ground. So let's see what happened in the intervening years. All right, that's pretty good. Ooh, see, it's a tough one. I'm going to go with pervious ground again. I'm going to say that's not yet on, on canopy. So we'll get a two, two, three, and we'll see, you know, we'll see what this other reviewer, uh, other collector uh, uh, thinks. So you can see why it's important to have multiple viewpoints on this to see where people disagree. So it's not a wrong or a right. Generally, it's just, you know, it's a little subjective. So let's do another one. And by another one, I mean the next one, because you'll always do things exactly in order. You won't, there'll be no, no jumping around. Otherwise it gets too confusing to see where, where people left off. So let's just travel close by here. Oops. See, I didn't want to click that label. I just want to double click the symbol. All right, so it moves me down here. So this one's super easy, at least for 2016. So you might as well start with whatever year you left off on. 2016, that is clearly maintained, oop, see, wrong year. <clears throat> maintained turf. Go back to 2008, maintained turf. And let's just see if that's consistent. Yep, it's a baseball field the whole time, so. We've got two, two, two MGA, and you can tell I'm entering this in the wrong place. I haven't done this myself either. Should have practiced. So we'll move it over there. And number three. So this one in 2020 is clearly tree canopy. You can see I'm in November, but you know, it obviously doesn't matter in this case. So that is 2020 is three. 2016, I'm gonna say that's still a three. That looks like tree canopy. And for 2008, that one is, I would guess it's tree, it's probably still tree canopy. That's not the greatest imagery. As you get older imagery, it gets harder to tell. But if you look at 2007, it's also tree canopy. So you can sort of, you can sort of just assume that it's still tree. Okay. So 
let me go back to the instructions here if there's anything else that I put on here. Um, do not, don't use this negative one just because you're having trouble telling what's going on. Just do, you gotta make your best guess, be quick about it as quick as you can and just move on. Um, it's okay to be wrong sometimes in, in some border cases. Uh, only use this if there's something severely, like technically weird. And, and then let me know if you see that like more than, you know, once per session. So repeat, put your initials in. And the one other thing to note, I guess, is that, so now if I'm done for the day and collector two comes in, collector two should always start with these three trees. So try to fill in the gaps first before going into new trees. And collector number two, I probably should set this up differently, but you try not to be influenced by collector number one's assessment. You gotta make your own assessment, otherwise this is not a worthwhile activity. So um, be confident, be yourself, and thank you.